why do narcissists love bomb and what is love bombing? So love bombing is the excessive attention, admiration, affection, texting, gifts, um, literal attention coming at you in the beginnings of a relationship or intermittently throughout a relationship with a narcissistic or toxic person where they are presenting themselves as that being their interest, that being how things should, are going to be. So let's talk more about love momming. I'm Lise Colucci and I'm a life coach here to help you understand everything related to toxic relationships and narcissistic people and to get you the help you need if you need it so that you can heal your life and make change for your life for the better. So if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Let's talk. Love bombing. When you first began a relationship with a narcissistic person or when you have a narcissistic parent and they want something or they they want the attention to sway a certain way toward them or they're making up for their devaluing of you or whatever it is have you experienced excessive attention that just feels like you're the center of their world like you're the most amazing thing they've ever met the most amazing person that's ever been alive to them and were you given gifts were you given appreciation lots of texting lots of words lots of affection okay they do this to control the situation they do this so that you fall under a spell really you fall under the spell of believing that this is what they actually think and feel not so much what it really is which is what they're thinking and feeling in the moment okay sometimes narcissists will love bomb you because it feels good to them because they enjoy the interplay when they have the love bombing because in that moment there's no there's nothing to take accountability for and they're simply doing it to get the attention back or they're doing it to control you or they're doing it to manipulate you to believing that's what the relationship is so that when they're devaluing you're having something to reach back to you're wishing it could be that way right they create a world of extremes they create a world of either giving you the world or taking that world away sometimes not all narcissists love bomb here's another thing sometimes the love bombing can look simply like not being mean okay they don't all do it they do not all love bomb if you didn't get love bombed don't feel like you weren't worthy of it it's not a good thing to be love bombed what it is is manipulation so it's just one level of manipulation you didn't deal with all right you had plenty of other levels of manipulation that you did deal with so try not to worry about it if you weren't love bombed if you weren't loved on this doesn't apply to you that doesn't mean that you don't have something to learn here because what you can learn is that if it is happening somewhere else like say you weren't love bombed and you were with a toxic person and you ended the relationship or they walked away and discarded you all right and then you're trying to have another relationship later on and somebody gives you all this attention that that narcissist never gave you red flag guys you don't know it's a red flag unless you are aware and you learn about it right just because you weren't love bombed in one doesn't mean another one can't love bomb you later on and that's not to say that all people who love bomb are toxic here's the thing early relationships when you're in them when you first meet someone of course you're excited of course it's new and interesting of course you're going to show a ton of interest and it feels good there's limerence involved there's the brain chemistry going on that goes into the primal part of your brain that says i'm attracted all right and you're operating from that and there's all kinds of oxytocin and and dopamine and like you know brain chemistry flowing and, and body chemicals flowing in this attraction that love bombing can happen love bombing can happen when someone's been so depleted of a good relationship and they meet someone they finally is kind to them it can happen all right so love bombing is one indication of a red flag if a person can't slow it down when you say i'm uncomfortable or when you say whoa let's slow this down a bit there's an indication that they're pushing boundaries. There's another red flag. So love bombing in itself, not toxic. Love bombing in combination with what happens next, which is the devaluing cycle of a narcissistic person. That's when it gets toxic, all right? 
love bombing in itself can be a natural experience between two people when they meet. It happens, okay? You gotta watch it though. It is a red flag. It is a red flag because what happens next sometimes is the, de is the devaluing. And we'll talk about devaluing on a separate video, but basically that means they've taken you from this place and they're knocking you off that pedestal and suddenly you're down here and your value is nothing and they're gonna put all the blame on you and then they're gonna love on you to build it back up and then devalue you. And, and therein is the cycle of the narcissist in relationships with others. So that's what you're looking out for is that cycle. Every relationship that starts with some love bombing does not necessarily mean it's going to follow that cycle, but you do need to watch out. If you're in the throes of being love bombed by someone new, watching for the other red flags that you might see. I have plenty of videos on red flags and what to watch out for. So go watch those and see if you're seeing other things or simply pay attention to whether you're falling all the way in because of the love bombing or if you're just enjoying the the nice things the person's doing does that make sense if you're not able to stop yourself from going head over heels for someone really fast then that might be something to look at that could be a red flag because you could be being manipulated or you yourself could be falling for somebody's you know early limerence with you instead of building a real connection and a real relationship so it's something to watch out for it doesn't mean it's always toxic like i said but it is a red flag because when a narcissist does it the other shoe will drop have you experienced love bombing in relationships have you experienced love bombing from a toxic parent have you what have you noticed about it other than yeah, they did this for a while and then they do the opposite. It, it sets you up for a fall, okay? It sets you up for the cognitive dissonance because the love bombing, when it drops off and becomes devaluing intermittently, it creates confusion in your brain and it makes you not know who the real person is, what to believe, whether your heart and your head, why they can't align and whether that, um, which one's right, right? Like which direction do you go? Do you listen to your heart who who wants to believe that the good in the person is what they really are and these are just bad moments? Or do you listen to your head that says this is a pattern that is so toxic and so unfair to me and so unfair to this relationship that I can't continue, right? And, and there's a confusion there that's from the love bombing and the devaluing cycle. So that's why it's important to watch for and to not believe that the love bombing in the beginning is the real relationship. Don't think when things are bad at the end that you want to get back to the beginning, because guess what? That was love bombing. That wasn't the true and real relationship. Real true relationships take maturity and time to build. Okay. Whatever happened in the beginning, that was just for fun. That's what the love bombing's about. The narcissist having fun. And with that, I will let you guys go. I will see you next time. Take care, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching, group coaching, or anything else related to recovering from toxic relationships, check out the information in the main description of every video. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.